how do you think it will be received now in 2021 than it was in 2008 when it was on Broadway, this story? In a lot of ways, I think that time has caught up to In the Heights. Um, you know, we, we, we came out of nowhere in 2008 and the miracle was getting this show from two Latino writers no one had heard of. Kiara was just out of Brown, no one knew who I was and getting it all the way to Broadway with this incredible company and people who believed in us. And what's amazing is you can actually see by index, they always do sort of a Broadway audience survey and you see Latino Broadway shows up in 2008 and then we close in 2010 and it goes back down again. <laughs> and we were it, we were, we were, that was all it was for a really long time. And there was such meager representation when it comes to Latinos in, in mainstream media without drugs or crime somehow at the center of the narrative that even the good reviews of In the Heights, uh, the rave reviews we got said, well, it's airbrushed. Well, there's no crime. Well, there's no drugs. I mean, it was just so out of the realm of wow. possibility that two Latino writers could write about their community with love and with joy and without that at the center of our narrative somehow. And it's been interesting to watch the conversation as more creators of color have a platform and a seat at the table that we want to depict ourselves with joy. We want to depict ourselves with love. We want to write about our neighborhood with the nostalgia and the sense of community that we felt growing up. And I think time has caught up to that of, of, of getting to see more of our stories um, and, and, um, and having that platform. And then there's the double poignancy of having to wait another year and a half um, of, of this movie that we filmed in the summer of 2019 coming out in the summer of 2021 and seeing, oh yeah, Remember kissing? Remember hugging your yeah. friends hello? <laughs> Remember um, saying bendición to your abuela and being able to give her a big hug? Um, we are it's still, uh, you know, coming to terms with this, this worldwide pandemic. And this is a reminder of the power of community and gathering in person, um, you know, after a year and a half of really not being able to do that safely. Um, so there's, the timing couldn't be more surreal because um, it is a potent reminder of the power of community at a time when we are trying to learn how to do that again. 